Why isn't Obi-Wan Kenobi pulling out his lightsaber? Where is this missing Inquisitor? And did anyone notice the new adorable droid? These are the details they slipped by you in the second Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer. The new trailer marks the first glimpse of comedy actor Kumail Nanjiani, and if his wardrobe is anything to go by, the Force might be with him too. Nanjiani can be seen hunkered down, seemingly in hiding. Interestingly, his character, who has yet to be named, is wearing threads similar to the now eradicated Jedi. Might Nanjiani's character be one of the few, like Obi-Wan Kenobi, that escaped the fallout from Order 66? If so, being the last remnant of the Ancient Order is no laughing matter. This series could mark the actor taking on a more serious and less quippy role than his fans are used to, and it may spell doom for his character's fate given the risks of being a Jedi in this scary post-Revenge of the Sith world. The highly anticipated reunion between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader is not the only obstacle the Jedi Knight will have to face in the new series. Fans of Star Wars Rebels will recognize the Inquisitor's return to the Star Wars narrative. Many Inquisitors had once been Jedi themselves, but after Order 66, they joined the Empire and used their Force sensitivity to hunt down the remaining Jedi and other threats to the Empire. The Jedi Knights are all but destroyed, and yet your task is not complete, Inquisitor. Though Inquisitors are featured heavily in the Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer, there is one character who is missing. Seventh Sister was a main antagonist in the animated series, but she is nowhere to be seen in the new trailer. Considering the inclusion of both the High Inquisitor and Fifth Brother, who both appeared in Rebels, this omission may seem odd. Many fans on Reddit have commented on their hope to see an appearance of the character. However, there is some logic to her absence. When Ezra first encounters her in Rebels, Seventh Sister has a specific mission. Many of the Inquisitors are trying to kidnap Force-sensitive children, but Seventh Sister is also on the hunt for Anakin's former Padawan, Ahsoka Tano. This could explain Seventh Sister's absence in the events of Obi-Wan Kenobi. It might indicate that she'll instead be appearing in the Ahsoka Tano Disney Plus series. While Kylo Ren's fiery lightsaber design in the sequel trilogy is definitely one for the books, Star Wars diehards know that there's no characters who play with lightsaber construction more creatively than the Inquisitors. The Grand Inquisitor's lightsaber has a circular motor of some sort surrounding its handle, allowing the lightsaber to rotate like a helicopter's blades. It seems that Inquisitor Reva's lightsaber may serve a similar function, as shots of her using her weapon in the trailer show a similar half-circle handle guard of some kind extending from one end of the lightsaber's handle. Given the way actress Moses Ingram and the series' executive producers have hyped up the character in recent months, expect it to be used to help make Reva a uniquely terrifying villain. Obi-Wan Kenobi series writer and executive producer Joby Harold recently told Entertainment Weekly that Reva's addition to the franchise will be a touchstone point in the history of Star Wars bad guys. Ingram, for her part, described the character as athletic and driven towards completing her mission. It doesn't appear unreasonable to think that Reva may be the one to truly give Kenobi a tough time throughout the series. Another new Star Wars project, another cute droid to merchandise, another toy to add to your collection. This brand new droid has an interesting red and white design with flaps on its back end that almost appear to move like ears. Between the red color scheme and black gloved hand that it appears in, it seems safe to assume this droid belongs to one of the Inquisitors, if not Reva herself. Throughout nine Star Wars films, multiple Disney Plus live action series, and any number of animated shows Lucasfilms has produced over the years, we've seen droids do everything, from repairing pod racers to piloting ships to scouting out enemies. Surely this one will serve a unique purpose toward the galaxy-wide search for Kenobi. If the new droid looks slightly familiar, it may be due to the fact that it somewhat resembles the very top of a BB unit without the ball underneath that it rolls under. The noises it makes certainly don't fall too far from how BB-8 sounds throughout the three most recent Star Wars movies. Those take place decades after the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series, though. Perhaps this droid design is a precursor to the lovable rolling ball that accompanies Poe Dameron throughout the galaxy in the sequel trilogy. Between this trailer and the first hair-raising teaser we got a few weeks back, one thing that both previews are missing is something no Jedi should be without, and that's a lightsaber. Obi-Wan's, to be exact. While Anakin Skywalker's former master looks to be getting into plenty of trouble in the new trailer, he's keeping most threats at bay thanks to having a trusty blaster at his side. So uncivilized. This begs the question. 
What's going on? Given that Kenobi is undoubtedly trying to stay out of sight of the Empire, it's definitely true that firing up his lightsaber might not be the smartest move. Is there a chance that there's more to it than that? The last time we saw Kenobi sheath his weapon, he'd left Anakin screaming in agony on the shores of Mustafar and watched the collapse of everything he'd spent his life fighting for. Did the infamous duel have a lasting effect on the old Jedi Knight, making him reluctant to draw arms again? Could the teased reunion between Master and former apprentice cause old friends to draw swords once again? It might just happen if our hero is forced to do so. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite Star Wars shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.